what a day. Uh, it has arrived and it's, uh, it's been a very special one. I spent uh, a couple of hours uh, at the Hall of Fame uh, looking at all the artifacts, all the history of the game of golf, and getting to know better the history of all the great champions that have been inducted into the Hall of Fame and also getting to know the history of players or people that uh, have done so much for the game of golf like uh, Bob Hope. At uh, this time, I would like to thank all the people of the international voting panel for allowing me to be part of such a special place. It's truly again a great honor for me to be part of it and I'm really thrilled about it. <laughs> Thanks. I would like to tell you a little story about a boy. A boy that uh, the day before he was born, his mom put the first nine flags on the front nine of an 18-hole golf course. When he was two, somebody gave him a putter and a ball and told him to put that ball in one of the holes. He realized that that ball could go in the hole from three feet, from 10 feet, and every now and then even from 30 feet. A few years passed away and he marveled at all the things that the white ball could do up in the air. It could fly high, it could fly low, from right to left, from left to right, and he thought, well, this is a lot of fun. And he decided to keep on playing the game of golf. One day, when he was 16, he approached his parents and said, Mom, Dad, I want to become a golf professional. You should have seen the look on their faces. They were petrified. How on earth a farmer's son can come up with such a decision? They looked at each other, they looked at the son, and said, son, if that is what you want, so be it. But under one condition, you have to finish school. So the deal was sealed. He kept on playing golf, he finished school, and he turned professional. He went through a qualifying school, and on his first year, he won two tournaments. And from then on, he went through the up and downs of golf, through the highs and lows of life. But he lived a life full of emotions, and he even managed to have quite a successful career. That boy is a grown man, and he's talking to you. Thanks a lot. All I can say is that it has been a wonderful journey, a journey that I will do all over again without any hesitation. Through golf, I have met great champions, champions of all different generations. Jim Saracen, Sam Snead, Byron Nelson, Arnold Palmer, Jack Nicklaus, Tom Watson, I mean, the list is long. I mean, I can go on if you want to. Uh, Greg Norman, Nicky Price, all the, all the European stars and all the modern stars. And I have also met wonderful people, people that love the game and have done so many things for the game of golf. And to them all, thank you very much for making my life so much more special. Golf has been a great teacher in life for me. It has taught me to be disciplined, that there is no shortcuts in life. You have to work really hard to achieve your goals, that there are rules 
to be fulfilled, to be patient, to listen to the more experienced people, to be humble, and most important of all, to respect others, regardless of their background or where they come from. But all of that would have not been possible without the help of many people. And I cannot thank them all today. The list is very long. But please allow me to thank that, the people that are really closest to my heart. All my coaches uh, through my life, the team of coaches that, uh, of my home golf club that taught me the basics of golf. Later, John Jacobs, who kept things truly simple, very effective. And later in my career, a person that you all know. His name is Butch Harmon. <laughs> Butch, I know, I know you're here somewhere. I don't see you, but I know you're here. Um, thanks for all your help. Thanks for being the way you are. And most important of all, thanks for being here today in such a special day for me. The next couple is one that I met when I was 14 years old, and they have been with me ever since. They've traveled all around the world with me, and they have supported me through all these years. And I love them to death. They are Sergio Gomez and his wife, Maite. Gracias de todo corazón. The next couple is even a little bit more special. They brought me to this world. They are truly humble, and they have shown me how to enjoy the small things in life. They've made a lot of sacrifices so their children could have a better start in life. They don't speak a word of English. And please allow me to thank them in my native language. Aita, ama, mi esquerra que no se tenga gustia gatica, sora garria exadete, eta billot billotes, maite sa itustet, mi esquerra. There is one more person that I want to thank, and that is my dear friend, Sevi. Yeah, he deserves it. He gave me a call when I was 15 years old. Not many people know this, and uh, he gave me a call and asked me to play in a match, in a charity match against him at his home club in Pedreña. And I said yes, without knowing the implications of that answer in my future career. <laughs> something happened really special, something really special happened that day. Um, I don't know what it was, but it was truly special. Because a few years later, I played in my first Ryder Cup at Muirfield Village. And I was a 21 year old boy and the captain, I guess, didn't know what to do with me. And Sevi approached the captain, Tony Jacklin, and said, Tony, I will play with Oli. The rest is history. I was never a genius like you, Sevi, but I did the best I could. And as my mentor, all I can hope for is that you're proud of me. 28 years ago, you opened a circle, and somehow that circle closes today. I want to thank you for all the wonderful memories you have given me, and for all you have done for the game of golf. To finish, I would like to say that through all these years, 
I have come to realize that it doesn't matter how good of a golfer you are, of how great your achievements are, the game of golf is always the winner. And all we can do is to honor this wonderful game. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. And don't forget that life can truly be wonderful. Thank you very much.